Twitter, and thanks for watching. With all the surplus military equipment hitting the auction block these days, there's a lot of people out there that are buying stuff that have never actually used it or maintained it or anything like that. So uh, today we've got a 1097 Humvee, and I'm going to show you how to start it, and if it doesn't start when you get to it, what you can do to fix it. Uh, first things first, they don't have a traditional key. Humvees, or military equipment in general, just has a switch. So to start these, what you'll do is you'll click the switch to the run position. If the batteries are good, you'll see the wait light come on and you'll wait for it to go off. It goes off. And the truck starts. That's of course, if it's got fuel and the batteries are hot. So let's say that it didn't start. Um, the wait light didn't come on, nothing happened. Let's go to the other side of the truck and uh, I'll show you what to do next. All right, so on this side of the truck, we have the pasture seat, but underneath the pasture seat is the battery box. Come in here and I'll show you the, uh, what holds the seat down. So you'll have these, you'll flip these up, flip them over. You will rock the seat to the rear, pulling up on the front, pull the seat up and set it out. Now you can get to the batteries. You come in here. These are the military style batteries. Um, I will link in the comments where you can find these. Um, but if you look, look down inside here, you can see how the battery cables are arranged. So uh, you can take uh, regular civilian 12 volt uh, top post batteries and stick in here just to get the truck to run and get it to move or pull off the trailer. So this is the setup. Just stick uh, two batteries in there wire them in series and you'll have 24 volts all right guys well i hope you learned something today uh, a lot of people like to would like to own one of these but they don't have any idea of how it really works or what to do if it doesn't um, your average general mechanic isn't gonna gonna be able to uh is gonna be able to work on it but it's not something they've seen much so um this will give you an idea of where to start all right, guys, if you liked the video, click the like button. If you like it enough to see me again, click that subscribe button. Just remember, when avoidance, deterrence, and de-escalation fail, a high rate of fire usually doesn't.